the rockhopper penguins. Curious and indeed very funny little creatures. It's very clear to see how these animals got their names. These are the smallest of the crested penguins. The males and females look very similar and it's very difficult to tell the differences. This was the start of what was an epic journey and I only realized at the end of our stay just how much effort actually goes into what they do. The colonies are pretty noisy and this individual actually came right up to me. It was very curious to see this tall creature looming up above it. He spent a little while looking at me and then eventually also moved off. They average 50 centimeters in height, that's very short, and three kilograms in weight. This individual was very amorous and what I thought was a fight initially turned out to be something quite different. Not particular, <laughs> just looking for a partner clearly and um, was quite prepared to sort of play the game. Yeah, you can see the kind of distances that actually travel to get to the nesting sites. An incredibly steep incline and it must take a lot of energy to make their way over and around these rocks, hopping in fact. They'll be coming to their partners and uh, possibly not only to rest up but also to bring food to the young ones. Incredibly strange feet with big claws and um, little pads at the bottom. Obviously very good for getting around on the rocks. You can see this incredible slope. Uh, <laughs> what a journey. You must be quite determined to get to the top. These penguins are monogamous and they form long pair bonds. Both parents incubate and care for the young. You can see that there's an incredibly good bond in these couples. When it comes to the young, the first egg is usually small of two eggs that are laid. And the first chick usually doesn't survive. The rockhopper's diet consists mainly of krill and squid and octopus, which they get by pursuit diving. The king shag of the blue-eyed shags, um, an aquatic bird with oil gland feathers, and it's quite common for them to be amongst the rockhoppers. Um, together with albatrosses, they form colonies that tolerate one another's presence. And this is where the journey turns around. These penguins that have made it all the way up this slope, got to the nesting site, done what is necessary, and now it's time to go back, all the way down again. <laughs> you must be determined.